M0FXB. So here we are, we've got HDSDR running, and we've linked up the frequency using OmniRig version 2. So if you look, as I change on the radio, you can see the frequency is changing with the 7300 that you can see on screen. So how have we done that? So what you do is if we find OmniRig, got a lot running on this computer. So there's our OmniRig program. So you click download. So OmniRig 2, it's a new one. Go down and click download. Once you've downloaded it, and you can update things clicking here, look for the for the latest rig files. Click that, and then you you get them in a zip, like so. There you go. Anyway, so we've downloaded, and we've got three windows here, and let's have a look at them. This is the first window says OmniRig setup now if we remember to install the drivers for your ICOM 7300 before you do this and obviously connect the USB cable to the computer and when you've done that correctly when you go device manager and go to ports you will see Silicon Lab CP210 there and a com number com 10 and I'll right click it and I've just set it for now to port setting 19200 okay close that window a minute so like i said we've got these three windows this is one of them so we've set there we now set the parameters here the same rig one is icom 7300 we've set com 10 and we've got 19200 i haven't touched any of these click ok let's go to the next one along when we end up with omni rig client demo I don't know I'm not really sure why it's called demo 2 but when it when it's correct so you click open dialog bo box here again the same box is opened and when you've got all these correct when you turn the frequency on the radio if you look here it will change there you go you can see that changing there so, I've noticed that there are further boxes, Omni Rig Client Demo 1. Someone tell me what demo means. Um, but I haven't touched this one because I'm not using it. Although it looks like it's doing the same thing anyway. Yeah, yeah, they're both. Turn that down. Right. So someone tell me why there's two boxes, but anyway. So now we go to HD SDR, which is here. Now to get it working, I had to do a couple of things. I had to click options, go to cat SDR Omni rig, and I had to click here. It did say rig not configured. Now it's now saying rig online, of course you need the rig turned on. When I clicked that, it ran, it put the files you know those radio files somehow it made it put them in I saw a little um, slide box go along and it put them in I'll see if I can do it with a different one options click on the next one along it's not really doing it on that one but anyway I'll show you my settings yeah I clicked 19200 here 19200 here as well because that's what I set the port to options remember it's cat rig and then you you select it and it looks like you can set you know set up more than one radio can't you up to four radios by the link look at this all these are selected by default so that's it I mean I'm sure there's more to this um, but you know, it's moving the frequency. We've got a full screen on the radio. Not much activity today. 
So let me know what you think. So this I'll call this the Omni Rig version two um, sync with the Icom seven three hundred. Sound wise, at the moment, I just selected here a sound card. Look, Micro Three USB audio codec. That might not be the right one. I might have to add an audio cable into the seven three hundred and plug it into the p computer microphone input or line in to get better audio because at the moment it doesn't quite sound right but I still think it's worth putting the video on to show you that I've linked the uh, HD SDR and Omni rig together and that the frequencies are changing you can see I'm moving it I can hear everything That station there. That's it. All oh, right. And that is the same. What I'm hearing now is is the same as what I'm hearing on the radio. Actually, I should have clicked LSB, shouldn't have I? Um, yeah. You could hear it then, couldn't you? So, and my sound setting is microphone three usb audio tech so seven three thanks for watching please uh like and subscribe to my channel if you find this interesting